Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your favorite host with the absolute furriest. Uh, this is Game Coon. Um, uh, well, I figure we'll take it back. As you notice, we're on a different screen. I guess we'll take it back, uh, since my first episode technically wasn't the really first episode. I'll show you what you have to do at the very beginning to, uh, get off in the space and to be on your own. Um, I have had some questions, uh, outside of, uh, recording of people who were still kind of confused on what to do, so we'll do an introductory and kind of show you what you need to do. So we're going to start a new game. We're going to do normal. Let's get on to it. Alright, guys, as you can see, this is going to be kind of a prequel and some quick hit tips and tricks on how to gain some units you know, really quick. So, let's begin. Now, this ain't good. We're starting on a volcanic planet. This is one of the worst planets to kind of start on if you're new in the game, so there's going to be some stuff we're going to do really quick. Otherwise, we're just going to die. hot. We have no analytic visors. We need to get ferret dust, so we need to move quick. Because again, this is not the kind of planet you want to start on. All these little rocks, you start mining them quick. If you ever do come across something like this, and you are a starting player, I would just highly recommend, since we're really right close to a volcano, and as you can see, so they ain't doing so good, um, I would Highly recommend just restarting the planet or restarting the game. So let's go ahead and get our scanner. Oh, we still need a few more. Right, let's go ahead and get our scanner fixed really quick so we can find our ship. It'll make it a little bit easier. O2, O2. Um. Need to collect sodium. So let's go get some sodium real quick. That hydrogen, collect them. Yeah, we gotta do a lot of this really quick, as well as trying to get a bunch of ferrite dust. We kind of got started off in the wrong kind of planet. Like I said, if you're new and you're starting off and you get a planet like this, run. Get through it quick. Start collecting, uh, ferret dust and everything on the way over to where your sodium's at.
is that the Volcanic Planet is the worst to start off. Now, as you can see, our ship's way up there. So... Alrighty, guys. Well, made it to the ship. Um, as you saw, I've got some carbon and stuff like that. We need them all. Let's get our starter ship so we can get off the planet. Go on our mission to learn how to make manic seals. So first we need metal plates. Which is one. So we go in here. Make a metal plate. Show us where to go to learn dramatic sales. Right between two volcanoes. Ooh. Ooh. I want to check something. So, off to our mission. Alright, as you see, we're there. Um, on your way there, you always gonna, it's always going to have a storm. So, you do have enough time to get to one of these places and there's always somewhere where you can rest inside. Um, as you can see, I dipped inside till the storm ends, which is what they're recommending you to do. Alright, now that the storm's clearing, make it a little bit easier. Is it going to be the best? Nope. Get our hermetic seal. And we'll get this one item over here. Install our analyze visor. We need one carbon nanite tubes. Ain't no problem. There we go. Now with that done, we got a visor. And everything. You ain't gonna get as much, but you get something. There's where our ship's at. Uh, 
Alrighty guys, well we made it back to our ship, so let's go ahead and get into our ship. There we go, Matic Seal. Get the launch thruster done and we can get out of here. So uh, we need uh, hydrogen jelly. I think we just need one. Yes, so we need pure ferrite dust. So, for the pure ferrite dust, we gotta construct the refiner. One metal plate, and we need oxygen. So. We gotta go find oxygen. Uh, let me gather up this stuff real quick and I'll meet you guys back here soon. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Uh, got the refinery built. Let's get some pure ferret dust. Uh, we do have to fill this with carbon. Got plenty enough carbon. Let's get some pure ferret dust. I think all I need is like 50. I'll do 100 just to be on the safe side. Now we're gonna lose all that we just put in there. Back in the ship where it's safe. And let's repair our launch thrusters. Uh take uranium or launch fuel. So we need metal plating. So let's get some metal plating done. Need ferret dust. Huh. I'm gonna go out and grind some ferret dust real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, while well, I'm back, uh, as you can see, I went ahead and got pure ferret dust so I can create um, launch fuel. fuel. Um, we're gonna go ahead and max that out. So now that we're done, guess what? They're officially off the planet. So. It's a volcano planet. We are leaving this thing. So let's get to space. Now, while you're up here, you want to mine the asteroid. So let me do that real quick. Alrighty guys, I'm back. I did a little bit of mining in uh, space. After you get off that planet, you're gonna want to do a little bit of mining. Spend about five minutes there. Uh, it'll get you a lot of good resources right there and allow you to keep things flowing. Then, go ahead and just pulse drive anywhere and you'll get a message. Go ahead and answer that message and it'll set you some coordinates. When you get to the coordinates as they're entering the planet, if you should see a structure nearby where those uh, coordinates are at, go to that structure, because that's most likely where it's going to take you. So that's what I did, and here I am on a different planet. And I am going to scan things. Alright, well, guess it was a different spot. Um, that one location we're at is a hollow terminus. We are gonna need that. Now, 
Oh, it's gonna start talking about us and uh, doing a face, all that. We got a terrain manipulator, which does come in handy, trust me. We are gonna take that because that's used for planning. And if you see any posts like this, go ahead and hit them up. This is your chart, integrates the save data. So, now that we got that done, let's make the system happy. Oh, no. Oh. We are going to need a terrain manipulator. Which is two cat carbon nanite tubes and one dihydrogen jelly. Not a problem, we can make that up real quick. Product constructed. Product constructed. Go over and we go. Bam, bam. What that allows us to do is allows us to dig in the dirt and the uh, surface minerals will now be able to be checked. Um, since I'm playing this on keyboard, uh, use G to change the kind of weapon I'm using. So... Right, now it says get a copper, etc, etc. Let's go ahead and find out where copper is at. Alrighty guys, I decided to head back to our ship where the Hollis Hollow terminal, which is right there, is at. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this damage machinery taken care of. Dump that. And... More nanites. We are gonna mark this guy's little face right here. After we save, because I just saw there's a save. So... We will mark this place as uh, our base for now, just to get that quest done. So, we need to place that down. Put fuel. Take it, and what you want to put in here is copper. And refine it. Now it does, as you can see in the bottom right, it does show you your progress. So it just says we need 30. That's fine. Then we pop this right on down and go boom. Once you go to your base computer and your extract plans, and just gonna give you more stuff. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly up and we're gonna go to the space station, and I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty guys, um, you have to go through a long tutorial process about how to build the base and all that. It goes through that. After you complete that, it will allow you to go to the, uh, Star Base. Space Station. So, once you get here to Space Station, you're pretty much free to go. So... Since we're up here, um... Don't need that.
Alrighty guys, well I'm back. Um, after you do a, up to a certain point, it does send you to this uh, crash freighter and you get the hyperdrive. So, let's go ahead and stick that in real quick. And 125 chromatic metal and 5 microprocessors. Shouldn't be a problem. Let me go ahead and gather the resources and I'll be right back. Alright guys, well, got the hyperdrive installed, now we've got to make some fuel for it. So, with that we gotta make warp cell, which we need animator housing and animator. Um, uh, we haven't learned that yet. We will, we will, watch, we will. There we go. So, turn the ship, and this is Starship Scanner. Basically, we're searching for the recipe. Freighter's in. Awesome. Wonder if we can see him from above. Should be able to. Oh, you can, huh? So. See this? Ah. Animator targeted. Now it's gonna point us where it's at, which is over here. Let's go get the animator and then we can get a warp drive up and activated. Alrighty guys, well, we got the animator housing and animator blueprint, so go ahead, show you how it's made real quick, real simple, go in here, animator, follows chromatic metal, and condensed carbon, and the animator housing involves that. Once you make that, use that to fill up your hyperdrive. Now, at this point, this is where things get really unique for you what I would actually recommend is keep warping around about four or five jumps or just warp around until you get into a battle conflict get into the battle conflict defeat the pirates and you get a free freighter at that point is when you can start bringing in some units because you'll get a free frigate with it start sending out that frigate and Wait until time comes back, do that. It takes a little longer, but it gives you a whole bunch and it'll get you set up to where when you go to the space stations, you'll be able to buy carbon, you'll be able to buy oxygen and all that, and you'll be more safe. Um, plus, you can start working on building your ship up so that it supplies you with all that stuff. So, well, with that, guys, that was the intro. That's how you get started really quick and set yourself up. Um, again, key thing, when you're starting out, scan, scan, scan and you'll be good to go so until then guys next time we'll continue on with our adventures so see you next time <laughs>